Bismillah, in this problem, a low-flying aircraft B is traveling at a constant speed. Here I made an additional picture to show how airplane is flying. It is flying in X and Y direction and we will consider this as a two-dimensional problem and we will ignore acceleration due to the gravity. Okay, so here if you see in the Z direction acceleration is working we will ignore this gravitational acceleration here you can see the diagram in which airplane is flying in a circular orbit first of all this airplane p has a constant velocity it means the acceleration in the tangential direction will be zero secondly we will consider this problem as a two-dimensional so we can ignore the acceleration in the gravitational direction. Let's write down what are the information given in this problem. The velocity is given as 360 km per hour so we will convert into meter per second by multiplying by 1000 and dividing by 3600 seconds. Now we will see what we have to calculate. In this case, as per problem, we have to find r, r dot, r double dot, theta, theta dot, and theta double dot. If we read this problem then we will find that we have a very limited information given in this problem like velocity is given in the text and the radius of this circle is given as 3 km. The problem is from R theta system so we need to go to the vector diagram or diagram of this problem. To find the value of R we will go to the image and we will see that this is a triangle where the one side is 15 km and the other side is 16 km. So we can easily calculate the value for the r that is under root 16 square plus 15 square and now we will take again help from the graph and we know that this motion is a circular so we can calculate the acceleration and as you know that velocity is constant in this direction it means that acceleration in the tangential direction will be zero now we can calculate acceleration in the normal direction by using formula v square upon rho we can easily find the value for the theta from the graph again we have a triangle and we know the sides so we can use 10 inverse of the 15 over 16 so here is the answer 43.2 till now we have calculated the value for r and theta now we have to find the value for r dot and theta dot as you know that r dot and theta dot can can be calculated by the velocity equation or either the vector diagram of velocity we see here that we do not have enough data or information from the text of this problem to find r dot and theta dot so we must need to get help from the vector diagram so let's make a vector diagram for the velocity and after that we will see that if theta can help us now we will make velocity vectors for this purpose we need to make r and theta coordinate as you know that r will be positive when we move outward towards the center and theta will be positive 
towards the motion so in this case you can see i have made vr and v theta component we have already given theta so we can easily calculate the values of the component based on the theta so we can write v is equal to vr plus v theta and vr will be equal to v cos theta make sure that here vr is in the negative direction so i will write minus r dot is equal to v cos theta here we have v velocity is already given and theta we know so we can easily calculate r dot that will be minus 7.0 meter per second make sure that it is in the negative direction as we know that v is equal to vr plus v theta and here we have already the velocity we already calculated vr now we have to calculate v theta and here we have already know the angle theta so we can use the vector diagram and we can write v theta is equal to v sine theta further velocity is already known and we will put the values and we can easily calculate the value of v theta that will be equal to 68.4 meter per second now we know from formula that v theta is equal to r theta dot so remember here that in the vector diagram v theta is in the positive direction and from our calculation we also got the value that v theta is equal to r theta prime that is a positive value so guys till now we have calculated r theta r dot and theta dot now we have two terms remaining r double dot and theta double dot but these two terms are available in the acceleration equation so for that purpose we will solve or we will try to find the acceleration to find the acceleration we need to understand the problem that it is two dimensional okay and the velocity is constant so in this case at will be zero the acceleration in the tangential direction will be zero and we can calculate acceleration in the normal direction that is v square upon rho or radius guys from here now we have got the acceleration in the normal direction but we have to find the total acceleration so for this purpose we will make a vector diagram again to get help and i will plot r and theta and let's calculate a r and a theta but for now we know that a t was zero so total acceleration which is working is in the downward direction or in the normal direction so here i made a n is equal to a that is the total acceleration now we will have two component in theta and r direction from the figure here we can see that a theta is in the negative direction and a r is also in the negative direction now we will write the formula a r is equal to r double dot minus r theta dot square from the figure we can also write a r is equal to minus a sine theta from the graph or from the vector diagram so we can easily calculate the value for a r but at the same time if we see the formula for a r we will see that r double dot is missing so we will apply this equation and we can find the r double dot similarly we will use the formula for a theta or acceleration component in theta direction that will be equal to minus a cos theta you can also see the graph that a theta is in the negative direction 
why we made negative direction because the total acceleration is in the downward direction and two components a theta and a r will follow it now using this formula for a theta we can calculate the value of theta double prime